Since My Villain Academia came to an end with this latest chapter of My Hero Academia, I felt like a discussion was in order. Discussing what happens next, what is in the future for this series, what is going to happen to the Liberation Army besides obviously just joining Shigaraki, and what is the hero is going to do or how are they going to react to what happened to the city. There's a lot of things, a lot of things up in the air, and I kind of want to just dedicate this video to discussing the possibilities. So to start, the Liberation Army. Obviously, after joining Shigaraki, it's still not going to be smooth selling. Even if they fully integrate into his group, it's not going to change the fact that a city legitimately just disappeared. Like, it's just gone. It is just straight up gone, eradicated, it's dust. And it's not something that you can just cover up. You know, it, it's not that simple. It really isn't. So the question is, what is going to happen thanks to what happened to the city? Well, after thinking about it, and really just taking a moment to think of what are the possible options after the events of the Ark of My Villain Academia, I think, most likely, since Redestro has been taking footage of the situation, he had a satellite watching Shigaraki's location, etc, etc, it's very likely that the League of Villains, Shigaraki's group, is still going to take the blame for what happened to the city, or at the very least, Gagan might take blame for the city. Whatever may be the case, I do think the reason why that will happen and they will take the blame is because Shigaraki wants Redestro to blame them. And why I think that would be a good idea is because it would be a great way to kind of keep the uh, Liberation Army's cover. Because that's the biggest thing right now. Since Shigaraki has accepted Redestro into his fold, allowed him to join his group, then there still needs to be a cover story. The, the, the reason why Redestro is very useful is because people believe he's a good dude giving equipment and stuff, support equipment, to heroes. So if that dude is not in good public eye anymore, then obviously he has lost his potential usefulness. He no longer has money either if he's in jail. So that's the problem here. So his cover needs to be kept. So the only way to do this most likely is either A, to shift the blame over to other individuals that's not affiliated with Shigaraki's group, or shift it to heroes, basically, or shift it to Shigaraki and his group, and then argue the point that people do need to be able to use their quirks to fight back. There's a lot of things that you can use from what happened in the arc, and I kind of want to go over all the individual things that could potentially happen. So, let's say Shigaraki's group is blamed. Shigaraki tells Redastro, okay, blame us for this incident. Just don't talk about Gagan, maybe. Just blame us for the incident. If, they, if he is blamed, then Redestro could go to the public, basically do a pity party to where people start feeling bad for him, start feeling bad for everyone in the city. If a bunch of civilians come together and start crying, heroes won't want to pitch in. They'll probably use their funds and money to be able to help out the city, give donations, etc. And overall, the fame and support for Redestro's company would get very, very large. Because in terms of money... It's a major impact. The city being demolished like that, that's a major impact on funds, money, etc. That's a big deal, especially for a company man. So, there obviously has to be some form of insurance, but also there has to be some form of way to keep these guys in, you know, proper, I guess, economic situation where they don't go bankrupt, etc. And so I think that heroes and other companies will pitch in to help him out, and then in turn, because of this, they'll ask Redestro to give them support items. Maybe like, okay, just build us support items or whatever, and, you know, we'll help you, and as long as if we help you get back up on your feet. I can definitely see something like that happening. But it doesn't just stop there. The point is, is if Redestro does continue with his partnership with other heroes, police force, etc., he's able to integrate into their society, study heroes, etc., and maybe even put fell things, like things that will fell and break on heroes when they need it to break. Example, okay? Let's say Izuku didn't have one for all or whatever, he was in the MC, and he had a, a support item to help him fight, okay? And let's say without these support items, let's say on his arms, he wouldn't be able to move his arms, okay? He would just go limp. The thing is, what if 
Redusters group, they make support items for people that really need these items to fight, and then he has like a, a thing inside of the item that can just break it, just instantly break it to ruin the item, so when a, let's say a villain like Shigaraki is fighting them, it instantly breaks because Redestro can just remote control it and break it, that would be very bad for the heroes, because he would be able to effectively end certain heroes, anyone he wanted, if they use his gear. Just make it malfunction on them at the last second, and then they get killed. That is a problem. But, it doesn't just stop that. Because of him being able to give support gear to so many different people, it means he'll have a lot of connections, a lot of political sway slash pool within society, so he can get the things he wants, get inside of things that he wants and learn, you know, trade secrets, etc., and how the heroes move as well, or their weaknesses, etc. So, there's a lot of things that come with Redestro being able to give everybody support items. Now, let's look at the populace of the city, okay? Besides the company, money situation, we gotta look at the civilians that were affected. A lot of people died in the attack that the League of Villains did. And because of that, we know there was footage. We know footage was gained. If any camera survived, etc., the satellite picked it up. They all know that a lot of civilians died. And they can use that point as an argument that, you know, civilians need to be able to fight back. Like, civilians need to be able to use their quirk without worry of prosecution, without worry that they are going to be arrested and put in prison for the rest of their lives. That is the, the discussion that can be mentioned because of this. Because when you see how everybody was fighting back against Shigaraki and just getting slaughtered, it made it to where if they were fully able to use their quirks and train themselves with their quirks, they could have been able to defend themselves and not many deaths would have happened. I could definitely see this changing you know, laws within society, forcing some changes to where civilians can actually use their quirk to a certain extent or even be able to use it in self-defense even more than he normally could. I just think that because of what happened within the city, it's definitely going to lead to some changes. It, something that big with a city disappearing is not going to lead to some consequences within society. And it's exactly what the Liberation Army would want in the first place. I mean, even if they lost, Redestro would kind of win in a way because he could show this footage, even if he didn't join. So, it would still work out in the end for his overall objective. Now, okay, with that, though, another thing comes to mind. With finding out now that the Liberation Army is with Shigaraki, what is going to happen to the hero's side? Because now that this has happened, and the League of Villains have gotten a lot stronger... You know, what do they have that, you know, is going up against? Like, what are they going up against besides that? Well, with Redastro's funding, he's able to fund the Doctor now with his high ends. He's able to give him enough money to be able to learn and make more no uh, Nomus that are a lot stronger in capabilities to just, you know, mass produce them. So, money is very essential, and he finally has that, and he's able to help out the Doctor. Gagan is a powerhouse that's able to fight and rip up mountains and cities, so that's a whole other whole other thing to discuss. So, Endeavor right now, it's looking very bleak for the number one hero, and even Hawks, even if he wasn't a mole within the League of Villains, it's looking very bleak. Which, that comes to the question now, Best Genus. We know a few chapters back, Best Genus has disappeared. We don't know what his fate really is, and I'm led to believe that Best Genus isn't dead. I think many can agree that it just doesn't make sense for Best Genus to die. However, it's still potential that he could die. And the reason why is, is because we gotta look at all the facts here. Hawks is someone that has to keep his cover. And now that the League of Villains has gotten a hell of a lot stronger, it's even harder now to be able to get information on them because of just how big it is. The organization is massive. So, the stakes have been raised, and Hawks, you know, getting rid of S. Genus, you know, I think he probably told him, hey man, you need to disappear for a while. You gotta disappear, because I'm doing an undercover mission that cannot be ruined. It's for the best of everyone. I know you want to come out of retirement or whatever and help people again, because you're kind of healed, but you need to go missing. I feel like that's probably what's going on. And most likely, Hawks will probably be discovered. If it is discovered, then he probably will have to prove himself. Probably get rid of Best Genus for good. And the reason I think he might be discovered is because of Redestro's political pull, his power. Because of how much support gear Redestro sells and how much, you know, the, uh, the event of the city is going to be on the media, 
most likely, Redestra is going to have more information on things that go on within Hero Society, maybe even the top officials, the undercover officials, and they, he might find out about Hawks, how he's a traitor, which in turn will get back to Shigaraki and Dobby, which will lead into a bigger issue for Hawks. So there's a lot of things. And then also, since they have a lot of political pool and stuff, they might be able to find out more about Endeavor, expose Endeavor. There's so many things that can happen now thanks to just the power of Redestro and how far his reach really goes. So yeah, I think that um, there's a lot of crazy things that, things that can happen now within the story because Shigaraki has gained a legitimate army. So yeah. That's kind of what I want to discuss. I wanted to kind of add on to my previous review, but also what could happen in the future. Tell me your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen for the said characters? Do you think that Hawks is going to be discovered? Do you think that Best Genus might be killed completely? Be honest in the comments below. I'm very curious. And with that, I love you guys. Be safe. Chibi out.